Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Hillbilly in the Philippines and we have got a treat for you to, to, today we got a brand new corn sheller from Shopee it is uh, made in China uh, seems to be pretty well built I think it was uh, almost 8,000 pesos shipping and all so around let's just say roughly $75 <clears throat> Excuse me, I feel a little under the weather here today. I've been uh have a chest cold and sinus infection the last few days. But uh got a bag of some nice corn that we grew here on the farm on the property we leased. Let's get in here, let's test this thing out. Uh, 220 volt is pretty violent <laughs> I would uh, definitely recommend wearing safety glasses 
when using it. I didn't have that down, that little shield that stops the cobs from flying everywhere, but it looks like I've got uh, just as much on the ground as I do in my tote. <laughs> but it does shell corn. And uh, we'll use that in our meal right over here. And we'll turn that into some big feed. But I'm going to get this cleaned up and we'll be back with you guys here just in a second. Okay, after sweeping up around, that's what I ended up sweeping up. Uh, a lot of it flies everywhere, but uh, I believe a big part of it was coming out the back here. Has this little door that I forgot to close. It's supposed to stay down like that to keep it from all flying out the back. So that's user error mainly, but uh does a pretty good job cleans the cobs up pretty good all right now let's take some of uh, the corn we just shelled and put our little grinder to work into here guys can kind of get an idea this is some of the pots that I mix up some of my pig feed in kind of what that looks like and uh, another thing I'd like to add to my feed this is a byproduct of the rice milling you can get it pretty cheap it's called beet owl and it's just like a real fine rice flour brand flour so we'll put that in with the corn. real quick and grab my mineral. This is a good breed of uh, a good brand of uh, minerals to uh, 
mix in with your feet. It's got calcium, phosphorus, vitamins A, B, E, trace elements. Uh, usually don't measure that, just kind of eye, eyeball it. Maybe a, maybe one quarter of a cup per mixture of feed. And for my secret ingredient here, this is a byproduct of the moonshine. This is a by spent mash. And it's got corn and starches and green, and barley, rice in it. I'll pour this right in here on it. We'll mix this all together real good. Got it. Big paddle here. Oh, let's check out some of the corn left in I don't like to get it real thin. I like it to be kind of a thick, pasty substance. When you get it to where it won't stick to the sides of the bowl, that's about that's about where I like to mix it. I might have to add a little water to this one. I use all the leftover mash that I had. We'll mix all this here up real good. I like to have some more water. It's getting a little dry. Mix this here up real good. And we'll take it down to the girls and guys. Down to the pigs. And show you guys what they think about it. Back here in a few. Okay. You girls hungry? Let me in by the hair of my chinny chin chin. How about you guys? You guys want to try some of it? Oh boy. <laughs> 
But I'll wind this video up. This is a Matt Cottle in the Philippines, Hillbilly. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.